the barrier of the language, native foreign language. Whatever person has a capacity to learn foreign languages or at least one of them, actually each one of us does this in a way or another and speaks one. Yes, it's in his native language. The majority of people express themselves well speaking their own language fluently and without any problem even though they don't know neither the grammatical rules that control it nor the function of words once ordered in the sentence. Of course, learning a native language starts from childhood and goes on improving, but the intelligence that people have used to learn this language will be of great help if they want to learn another one. Obstacles among the factors that prevent learning a foreign language or native, we find fear and shyness. Fear is a terrible enemy to this process, especially when adults think a lot at the time of speaking, and for this reason they feel stuck. Some decide not to speak until they can do it fluently, but they don't know what they're missing. Making mistakes is the best teacher one could ever have. When I went to France a long time ago, I had known only two words, bonjour and monsieur, but for the rest I didn't know any of what the French said, and I thought it was impossible to speak this language. Thus, I took the decision to start speaking, of course. I used to make a lot of mistakes and my French friends laughed but always helped me and I had my mistakes corrected. And as a result, expressing myself in French was a very easy process in the following days. Practical Intelligence According to the expert Robert Stenberg, there are three types of intelligence creative intelligence, analytical intelligence, and practical intelligence. We use the creative intelligence to generate new ideas, but in our case we want to learn a language that exists and not to invent another one such as the Esperanto. The analytical intelligence allows us to analyze, and this is very useful when we want to learn a foreign language but too much analysis and too many efforts focused only on the study of grammar makes learning very difficult. In fact, the speaking process, even though complicated, is automatic and we mustn't exhaust our mind by studying grammar all the time unless we have exams at school or studies on grammar. With the practical intelligence, we learn whatever language, and it doesn't matter what language it's about. Sure, there are difficulties such as the alphabet, the pronunciation of words, grammatical structures, and others. And as I said before, our brain that learned to speak a language will always be able to speak other languages. But since the environment is very different, then we have to train it a little bit. After you have listened to the sounds produced in this language, for instance, the training can be done through the repetition of words and phrases while speaking aloud. I understand well that there are no natives to practice with, but you can do it alone at home. I don't ask you to do it in the street and talk to yourself like some people do these days in our country, of course, for other reasons, you to war and other things. And don't be afraid of being asked by one of a suspicious member of your family about what you're doing. Besides, almost everyone has a mobile phone, and sure you have one, so you can record your own voice and compare it with that of native people. With the time, you will speak it and keep on improving it. And if you know how to sing, then that's great, because this way the words are memorized more quickly, and if you like dancing, well, do it. Dancing, singing, and especially speaking activates the cells that our brain contains, and it gets sharper. When you do sports, you train your body, and when you look at yourself in the mirror, 
you see your muscles. Train your brain and you will see what it will do to you and the fluency with which you will speak, my friend. Translated from an article written originally in Spanish by Duraid Mayhub.